Welcome to Informatica University Success Academy. Informatica Master Data Management Merge Records through an Active Voice Workflow. In this demo, we will search for some records. We will trigger a merge job as a data steward and approve the merge as a manager. While this is happening, we will also monitor the workflow status through the ActiveVoss admin console. If you install and integrate the ActiveVoss along with the MDM, you could use it as a workflow engine. You will then need to configure the triggers, the tasks and user mapping from the provisioning tool. In this demo, we will see how to merge two records from the E360 perspective and we will also take a look at the ActiveVoss admin console to monitor a workflow. If you install the ActiveVoss along with the MDM, there are a few out-of-the-box workflows that you can use in your provisioning tool. Workflows have tasks and tasks are performed by users. The ActiveVoss workflows will bind the tasks together in a logical sequence. In the provisioning tool, you will complete the role and task mapping and in the MTM hub, you will assign users to the roles. Let's look at a demo where the data steward initiates the merge and the manager approves it. Let's log into the MDM hub and take a look at the users and roles. Here I have a data steward, a couple of managers and a senior manager. And Steve is the data steward here. So let's log into the 360 app as Steve, the data steward. And once we're logged in, let's do a smart search for a customer's record. And I've searched for Ruby and I got two records here and I'm going to merge these two records as a data steward. So we go into the matching records and we will search and then add the other record here. So click add and then search for the string and select the other record that you would want to merge here. And select it and then click merge. Before we click the merge, let's take a look at the ActiveVoss admin console. And I've already logged in to the ActiveVoss admin console here. And note that there are no active processes. So let's switch back and we'll do a merge. Then confirmation, click merge again. Now a trigger has been set. So every time a data steward does a merge, that will trigger a workflow. And the workflow can be checked in the ActiveVoss admin console. And the records themselves would go into the pending state. So while the records are pending, let's close this tab and then switch to the admin console. Switch to the ActiveVoss admin console. And then refresh the page here. And we should be able to see a workflow that's running. So the data steward has triggered a merge job. This means that the manager needs to approve the merge. And the manager here is either Mark or Marvin. So we log out from the Entity360 application and then we log in as a manager. And once we log in as a manager, we should be able to see the available tasks that are in the open queue, which we can claim as a manager and then approve it, or we could disclaim it, or we could simply reject it. 
In this case, we will approve the merge. And once the task opens up, from the options, you could simply say merge. So you can add a comment. We'll simply say, okay, looks good to me. We'll add a comment and the merge task is now being completed by the manager. So this is a two-step approval process. And if I switch back into the Active Voss Admin Console and look at the workflow, we'll refresh it and it should be completed. The necessary configuration for this that is the data steward triggering the job and the manager to approve this is configured from the provisioning tool. But before we look at it, let's see if the records have actually been merged. So I search for the same customer again and this time I just get one result. So let's take a look at the configuration for this. So we log into the provisioning tool and go into the tasks. Here, under the triggers, we have two kinds of triggers. One is the default merge. This is where the merge happens. Now, observe closely that the manager can approve this for a person. A manager can approve a merge only for the person uh, type. But the trigger is happening through the data steward on the person. So the data steward triggers the job and the manager approves it. This is the configuration. This is where the demo ends. Thank you for watching.